Welcome to Programming for Kids. Today's topic is creating a web page. You will need notepad and a browser to get started. There are four basic keywords that you need to remember. HTML, head, title, and body. So what we'll do uh, in this course is combine them in in a certain order so you can produce your first HTML web page. There are a few symbols that you need to remember. So when you begin a tag, uh, a keyword, you need to start with angle bracket and end with this angle bracket. And uh, ending of the same tag would start with an angle bracket and a forward slash and end with um, an angle bracket. So the space in middle is where you would put your keyword that I showed earlier in the previous slide. So HTML or hypertext markup language, it's a language uh, for computers, especially for web pages that looks similar to this. Uh, so in the next slides, it'll, it'll be very clear how to format it and what order you need to put to get things right. Uh, so take a look at HTML head title and title two times head body body and title if you um, notice every keyword has two repeating keywords like HTML and HTML but the angle bracket are are, are begin beginning angle bracket and ending angle bracket and the corresponding ending tag for that is would look something like this so um, any web page should always start with HTML that looks like this and always end with a tag forward slash and HTML and an ending angle bracket so the next thing is head Head is where you would put your titles and other important things. So this is the beginning of an head tag and there's the ending of an head tag. So title is where the browser understands what is the type of page or the name you give for this page. So that look like this. That is inside the head tag. And body is where you would put all your contents in there anything that you want to type or images or video or anything that you want is in the body so at the end of this course this is how your page would look like so basically you would take a notepad and type all these things in there so you can pause my video uh, and and write this into type this into your HTML page a notepad and in the end you would take it and save it as uh, with a, any name that you want. I would call it first web page dot HTML. So notice there's a dot and HTML. This is how the computer understands this is a web page. And then uh, to uh, to wrap it up, you would click the double click the page and it'll open your browser. So let's go to the demo. So here I have opened a notepad and I'm going to um, copy and paste the tag that I showed you in the slide just to save time. You can uh, pause the slide and type this on your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type, say go to file, save has, and I'm going to go to the desktop, say my first HTML page and this is very important put a dot and HTML uh, some people put it in bracket uh, I mean sorry in colons um, so you, you don't have to if, uh, if 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 your page is saved with dot HTML sometimes it's saved with dot txt in those cases you would so I would just avoid doing that and I would say save. 
I'm going to close this and this is my first HTML page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this I'm going to resize this quickly and this is the first HTML page and the title uh, that you type in the page is here and the body is here so um, a quick trick is if you right click mouse click and view source you should be able to see whatever you typed in there so that wraps up the creation of the page the first uh, demo um, I will have more videos posted for more advanced and basic and quick stuff that uh, is easy to learn so um, alright see you guys thank you bye